In today's video, we're checking out the Marshall DSL-5CR. And I have this mic'd up with a Behringer B906 and also the SL75C microphones. There's gonna be no post-production on the intro track. I will be running some delay through the effects loop on this amp, and I'll talk more about the features of this in just a moment. Let's hear how it sounds. Here's a quick rundown of the Marshall DSL 5CR. Now it's a two channel amplifier. We can switch channels using this channel select button, or you can use an optional foot switch to change the channels, which I think is really great. This clean channel over here is called the classic gain channel. With the gain control down, it becomes a really great pedal platform. And with the gain cranked, it absolutely gets a little bit dirty, especially with humbuckers. If you push the front end, it gets that really classic sort of bluesy slash classic rock kind of tone with it cranked all the way up. You also have to have the volume mostly cranked to get that sound though, and I'll show you that in this video. With the gain down, it's still gonna remain pretty clean. And then you go over to the high gain, ultra gain setting. Now this amplifier only has the ultra gain setting. It doesn't have that classic crunch channel. So if that's important to you, this might not be the right amp for you. But with the gain down, you can get some pretty musical tones, but it's designed to rock. So once you get the gain to about 12 o'clock, the lead tones on this are really, really great. We also get a three band EQ over here, treble, middle and bass with a tone shift option here. You push this in if you don't like your sound and hopefully it fixes it up. It's basically like an EQ balancing button. I'm not too sure why this is on the amps, but it is what it is. It's there if you so choose to use it. We also get a deep button over here, which I'm gonna leave in the majority of this video because it sounds better. Now I own the back behind here, the Marshall DSL 40, and this deep switch is kind of like the resonance switch or the resonance control on my bigger amp, and it sounds great with it in. We also get a digital spring reverb, which I really like. It's subtle, but it sounds good. So there's a couple of other things to really dig about this amp, and that's that we get a quality speaker. Marshall have put a Celestion 1030 speaker in here, which is a 10 inch speaker, and I think it sounds really great, and it suits the amplifier tone. Not only that, if you wanna practice late at night and not wake up anybody too much, <laughs> it has a low power switch, which drops the amp to 0.5 watts, which is fantastic. We also get an effects loop over here, which works a treat. And there's the foot switch option here, if you wanna say, plug in a foot switch and change channels that way. All right, let's kick it off. Today I'm playing my Tokai Love Rock electric guitar. This is made in Japan, obviously based on that of Les Paul. And we're gonna start on the ultra gain channel with the gain at 12 o'clock and the volume cranked almost all the way up. As you can see from the EQ, I have the treble at 12 o'clock, the mids most of the way up and the bass most of the way down. And we have a little bit of reverb set and the deep switches also on. Take a listen to this. We're gonna go over to some clean tones as well, but it's a Marshall. So let's get into it. Bridge pick up. <laughs> And 
And as you can hear, I've got some delay going through the effects loop. So let's turn that off right now so you can hear just the dry signal of the amp. <laughs> yeah, all right. And now with the gain cranked up to three o'clock, let's give this a go. Volume control down. And all the way back up. And that's a little too loud for home practice at late night and all that kind of stuff, but it sounds great. There is a power attenuation switch on the back, which we'll get to in just a moment, but I love the tone of this. Let's try it for more of a bluesy tone now with the gain most of the way down, I'm going to crank the volume up. Let's go to neck pick up for this one. Yeah, not the best bluesy tone. Let's crank it. There's a fine line between too much gain on this amp and sort of not enough when it comes to the ultra gain channel. Probably still a little bit too much in the high gain territory there for blues, but if you like to rock out, the ultra gain channel definitely delivers. So let's go over now to the clean channel with everything all the way up. This is kind of like as close as you're gonna to get to the least amount of gain on the ultra gain channel. Here we go, neck pick up. Now with some delay going through the effects loop, great feature of the amp. Ooh, yeah, all right. Let's put the gain down to about 12 o'clock. This is where it's gonna be mostly clean. Turn the delay off. One of the great things about the effects loop is there's no degradation in your signal, nor is there any drop in your volume. I really dig that. It just feels exactly the same with the delay on or off. Alright, while we got it there, let's try the tone shift. It's currently been disabled, so I'm going to turn that on right now. This just basically evens out all the EQ. I don't know how much I like this control, but it's there if you need something to sort of fix your sound. With it off. Now let's try the deep, which has been on the entire time. Now with it off. That's kind of like the resonance control on the bigger amp, which is right behind here. So let's turn that back on. Very nice. And now let's try it as clean as we can get it. Here we go. Now 
Now let's test out the power attenuation on the back. It's a little button that you push in on the back side over here and it drops the amp volume considerably. So let's give this a shot. This is with it at full volume on the Ultra Gain channel and I'm gonna switch it over to the power attenuation and then talk about how it sounds in the room. Here we go. <laughs> I'm looking at the waveform on the computer and it's less than half of the waveform with it at full volume. Now what I'm gonna do is leave it at that lower power setting but adjust it in post so you can hear how it sounds once you raise it back up in editing, so to speak. Here we go. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane, a massive thank you to Sky Music for letting me borrow the Marshall DSL-5CR, really appreciate it. Being a huge fan of the Marshall DSL-40, there's a lot of good things to say about the 5CR, but I think the biggest downside is there's no classic crunch channel. That classic crunch channel, man, it is so good. It's where I live on my Marshall DSL-40, and they don't put it in their 20 watt amp either, so if you're looking for that, you'll have to go for the 40 or another amp that's larger again. So. Yeah, it's one of those things, I, I kind of wish Marshall would re-release these as a separate amplifier alongside the current production model for those who don't want the Ultra Gain channel. But the Ultra Gain channel sounds great. It really does. If you like high gain tones, you're going to get a kick out of it. But for what I like, I would love to see that sort of, you know, the classic crunch channel in their amps. Now, the clean channel is really good. If you want to run pedals into it, you won't have any problems doing that whatsoever. There's enough clean headroom in there to really make it rock out. And the power attenuation switch is also really good. It means you can play at, you know, at night and not annoy too many people. It's still louder than you think, even at 0.5 watts, but it drastically dropped the volume. It just, you could see it on the waveform, it wasn't even close. So these are really cool amps. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you soon. See ya.